Sarah coming at you here with a brand new 2018 Tacoma. I think it has less than 400 miles on it. Um, beautiful truck, real nice car for a real nice person. And I only say that when it's true. Um, let's see what happened. Uh, it looks like a, a cargo van door hit right here. And we got it in two places, right through that body line. And if you guys know um, access points, I would come in through here. If I opened up this door, it's going to close off my angle to be able to see that dent. So it's not real warm out today. Uh, this is cement color and it doesn't have a lot of, well, I was going to say it doesn't have a lot of metallic, but I think that's all it is, is non-metallic flake um, of gray. So it is a very metallic paint. It just doesn't have a lot of metallic flake in it. I gave it a little buff there and I've got it, uh, got my heat gun warmed up. And I'm going to look for one of my little Keiko crease tabs. Actually, before I grab a really strong tab, I should just use my little cheesy tab. But there's the one I wanted. A little Keiko crease tab. I got my hat turned around for you guys. And I think I'm going to just start right up there. And if you guys see what I'm going to do here, the dent is a teardrop. So I only want the glue to be on the top of that clip and just kind of smush it into it. Yeah, the center of it is definitely in the center of the dent, but the most of the glue is on the top. So we're gonna pull it real quick because we don't wanna give it a lot of chance to dry. I'm gonna use the lifter just for what I can, and then the slide hammer for what I can't use the lifter with. Now, if you guys see, I, I got a lot of that out. I probably waited a little bit too long. And Mr. Preparedness has got to grab his little alcohol thing here. But yeah, I'd say just on that first one, first pull, got a little glue stuck to me there. I'd say we removed 40% ah, of that dent. Um, this is going to be one of these ones that's going to take some time, ladies and gents. So I will say at this point in the video is... I sure do appreciate everybody clicking on this this video. I hope you guys are entertained or at best case scenario, maybe learn something. I'm gonna pull it really quick. I'm gonna come down on the top of it. First time I've ever used one of these little uh, gangrene tabs. And I know that they pull really hard because they don't have any surface. I mean, they don't have any little bumps in the surface so they pull straight up a lot of that was moved and honestly guys to be really honest worst case scenario I can roll down this window get uh, Bertha down in here and tool out some of these things but I think we're doing pretty good with this glue so let's just keep on going um, I'm gonna come down to the bottom edge I don't know I'm just really fond of this Keiko clear I know the way it pulls. I'm going to come down to the bottom edge, use this Keiko clear round, and go right there. This one was going to require a slide hammer because it's right on the edge there. And the feet will sit funny. So that's the way we wanted it. We wanted to leave the glue on the car little bit of isopropyl and that dent actually moved. So we are gonna just keep on going. Um, I don't know if we're gonna keep you guys in for the whole thing. I know you can hear my glue gun just kind of spurting. But uh, this one I did plan for an hour or two. Um, you know, best case scenario, we get them all out and looking good in about 45 minutes, but either way, we're not gonna keep you guys in for that long. We might do some speedies. I know that I'm gonna do a lot more pulls and that one seemed to want to pull but I think I need a bigger gosh guys I think I need a bigger tab right here I don't know if I'm gonna have to switch to the gray glue if you notice I didn't fill the edge of that tab I didn't fill that tab up just the center of it is what I want to pull let's give it a nice mm, little yank tab went flying which is a common thing now, I don't like the pull of this tab, but I like the size of it. So I'm going to get in here with the little cheap tab here. It came with some 
some kit. I'm just gonna use this tab until it breaks. But it does give some good pulls every once in a while. And so yeah, what I was gonna say guys is, this is all pulls without doing any tap work. And obviously, a lot of people say, well, you know, I usually start off my videos with tapping. Um, but if I'm gonna tap on this one, it's gonna be something like bottom edge of this down here. straighten up some of these lines up on top just to make another pull so once again thanks everybody for sticking with us through this far um, we might do a little super speedy or we might come back and just show you the last couple of minutes but either way I'm gonna be on it for a while doing this and maybe that 10 9 8 7 6 All right, the reason why I'm pulling so quick, guys, is because it is kind of cold. It's kind of chilly out. And this glue almost instantly cools. A little bit more. So I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to keep on working on this one, and we'll come back to you guys in just a bit. Okay guys, I thought I'd bring you in for uh, getting near the end. I mean, there's there's only so much we can do when we're pulling against this body line. Um, the glue got a lot of it out. If you see, that one up top is basically just down to a little uh, pinch. And I even did get my tool down in there and moved a little bit of metal, but I didn't really have the leverage. So what we're gonna do is let's clean that off a little bit. Make another little pull right through the middle. If you see, I'm just putting a strip of glue down. I'm going right through the middle of that one. And then why not just throw a little tab right there. Try to yank on that brow a little bit. And on this one, I've been using the lifter. And then on the one down beneath it, Nah, it didn't really pull. Probably want to warm it up a teeny bit. I've been using the slide hammer, so I actually want to get it right on that edge. Pretty decent pull there. So, um, I would probably say I have made about 30 pulls. And now, let's go right there. And while I'm waiting for that to cool, actually, let's just grab the slide hammer right now and give it a good yank. A little bit more of that one came out. And I think I want to even use a little bit more of the gangrene tabs here. Right up top. And then another one right down here. Kind of right on the edge. There we go. And then this one. Give it a little pull. And another one right here. I felt that one kind of pull. So um, let's get that stuff off. A little bit of isopropyl. Wow, and that actually moved a lot. So I think what I'm going to do here is make one or two real quick pulls just like the ones I just did on camera with you guys and um, I've actually already showed it to the customer and he said he's happy with the results so far um, and we're at that point there's uh, not I not much more that will come out um, I'm hoping for the best but I also kind of know how much See, that one actually gave it a little high pinch. And that one actually moved a little bit more metal. 
So, I think now what I'm going to do is keep on coming behind it. Oh yeah, that one pinched out real nice. It gave me a little high pinch, so I can basically just come in and baby tap these down. Kind of zen mode it out there, but I am, uh, we're getting real close on this one, guys. So that little pinch right there. Just kind of chasing around that little brow. And then if I wanted to uh, give this one another pull while my gun's all hot. I know I want to get this one just a little bit more right in the center. So in between I can do a little tappy right up here, right where it pretty much pinches the most. And I know I said we'd probably just come back and show you the end result, but I wanted to bring you guys in for a little bit of the, the actual work involved. I'll let you see what I see here. That one I had to tap open on the top. Give it a nice little pull again and should crest it right back up the way it was just currently. Get that little piece off there. Did move it a little bit. If I'm looking at where it's tight, it's tight right around here. It's tight right around here. A little bit of a back brow to it. Let's use the lifter come on through and nice little snap so um, I don't know if I'm exactly going to leave this dent the way it looks right now I think I'm gonna spend a couple minutes but due to battery times and our angle on it, let's take a good look at the angle I do have a little tiny line in there that Honestly, guys, probably won't come out. Um, but knowing that I can get it to that uh, that 80% mark where we wanted to get it to, um, I think I might go for a couple more pulls. Let's see if I can keep you guys in for this one. Same kind of tiny little bead right there. And then let's go for one of these little gangrenes right there. And yeah, guys, as I'm looking into the back side of this, I still see a little brow on the back side of this dent. So let's yank this one. Didn't really move it. This one, hopefully. Nah, teeny, teeny bit. And we're kind of at the point, guys, that I could keep doing this for about an hour and it would still end up looking the exact same way. So let's look right into this, get a little bit of a perfect it ready. Get that last little bit off with the isopropyl. Just feeling for any little bits of glue. And then I'm gonna give a little pre-buff and we'll take a look at what we've got. Like I say, I might spend some time off camera on this one. Um, this is uh, pretty much exactly what I, I told the customer we could do without the full on access. And um, as far as I, I can almost feel it in the comments that somebody's going to say you could take the door off and put it on a on a table and get right in there. Um, yeah, no, I'm not going to take the door off of a brand new car. And uh, let alone that probably requires a a shop to do that in. So let's take a look at what we got here. Um, just looking from start to finish. Yeah, there is a, if you're looking straight down on it, it's hardly there at all. And then down on this one right here, mm, I'd say I'm probably gonna make another little pull or two. I might even uh, make another little pull in the tap on the top one. But um, like I said, guys, even if I kept on doing this for about another hour, it's still gonna end up with this 80 to 85% kind of mark. Um, 
It was really severe through that body line. I think it came out pretty darn nice. Um, hit us up with a like if you would on this one. This uh, concrete colored brand new Toyota Tacoma. Super nice truck. Um, if you guys like what you see, share us on social medias and all that good stuff. We love to see the, uh, the sub count grow and the community grow. So um, other than that, I'll just say the thing. This has been PDR and I'm out. Peace.